You are listening to The Currents Morning Show. I'm Jill Riley, and I'm very excited to see a familiar face on camera, to talk to a familiar voice on the radio. And I am talking about singer-songwriter Dan Wilson. Dan, how are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm well, thank you, Jill. How, how about you? How are you doing? Not bad. Um, you know, I, I hate to think that this is the, the new normal. Uh-huh. Um, so much has happened in the past few months, you know, a global pandemic, everything that has happened in Minneapolis in the wake of the killing of George Floyd. Um, you know, there's a lot of discussion, you know, even just in the Minnesota music scene about what's going to happen, what it's going to look like when venues reopen and, you know, really rebuilding a scene, but also rebuilding a city at the same time. And so there's just, there's just so much coming together. Wow. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. And it's it's interesting because for me, being in LA, which is I've adopted as my home away from home for ten years, but I pine for my hometown, and I I absorb the news, and and I'm I'm I've been watching with a lot of love and concern, and kind of wishing I could be there uh, during all this. Yeah, I bet. I, I I imagine that it was difficult to watch from afar. Yeah, because also what it's luckily I still am in contact with family and friends there. But even in a situation like that, it's just it's hard to get a complete picture. And I guess maybe that's an illusion that we need to shake anyway. That we that it's available a complete picture. But at least it consoles me that I I still have close contact with my family and friends, and I can know what's going on back home. Well, Dan, I don't want to bury the lead too much as uh, why we're getting together this morning because uh, there is a new Semisonic EP on the way and a new song that is debuting on Friday, but we don't have to wait till Friday. So just a little preview that we're going to hear a new Semisonic uh, song. Um, When did work start on new Semisonic material? Uh, Well, I had a kind of a... I had sort of a song songwriting i don't know a uh, breakthrough in late 2017 meaning I, d- I didn't necessarily write these songs in, in 2017 but i wrote a bunch of songs that sounded like the band and and we had a, we had always john and jake and i had always been um you know hoping planning saying that we were going to do more music and then for a long time I, I just couldn't write anything that sounded like us it was really strange and um uh, or I would write something for Semisonic and it would sound more like a, a me, a solo record or a folk song or whatever. And I, I didn't know how to do it for quite a while. And then late, late 17, it kind of clicked. And I, and I wrote a batch of songs that, and I, was, I sent them to John and Jake. And I said, I think, I think we got something here and we can do some recording. So we did it over the past two years. Uh, you know, we had to all get us all together in one place a couple of times. And, you know, because most of it's cut just with the band playing live. And so we couldn't do it by mail. Um, but yeah, just the last couple of years, it was all done. It was all mixed, uh, probably November, December. Okay. So uh, definitely, you know, well before the, you know, coronavirus pandemic, before it was really, you know, affecting the United States, but certainly um, affecting the music industry where I'm guessing that like right now is not the best time to try to release an EP, which is I'm guessing why it's coming out in September. Well, I think um, it's funny because it's, it's hard to guess about any of this because we don't know what's going to be happening with touring. The band had planned to do a bunch of shows and I was, you know, we were all pretty excited about that. We, and we had several chances to, to play gigs in the past couple of years and, and it was, you know, it felt really, really good. So, I'm not sure how strategic this is. I think we're, uh, we have this music, it's done, it's ready to go. I kind of feel happily, I would just try to be confident that we'll make more music. And so if this was the wrong time to make some new music, then a year, a year later we'll make some more new music and maybe that'll be the right time, who knows. But I, it's more, it more has to do with like, we want to share it and it's a super weird time, but hey, a lot of people are going through way weirder times than me so mm-hmm. I'm just gonna... well i think there couldn't be a better time to 
expand with a new record or new music and people still need that you know as a coping mechanism to be able to you know to share art and to consume art and music um it, dan i was I, I checked in with uh, your bandmate john munson he's a friend of the current morning show and he's done a number of on-air segments with me and um and i said hey i'm about to listen to this new song you're not alone and i'm going to be checking in with dan wilson your buddy dan wilson and dan mate so i'm like do you have any kind of tidbits that i should ask dan about and john said you know these songs aren't brand new but it's uncanny how timely they sound can you kind of comment on that i don't know because um i feel like okay I don't want to underplay or overplay anything. I, I, I'm mm -hmm. still rather cautious about making grand statements right now. But when I wrote You're Not Alone, um, a lot of people that I love were, this is probably early 18, and a lot of people that I love were like feeling besieged by the um, you know, national politics, local politics, a sense of everything moving towards the right, towards a more authoritarian point of view, a sense of, uh, sense of isolation, you know, uh, the internet did, didn't uh, bring us together like we sort of may, maybe thought it might, who knows who was thinking anything, if anybody was thinking anything, but, you know, I think that sense of isolation and, and being kind of desperately surrounded and, and, and w wondering how to fight back or wondering how to like make the world a, a place that we would dream of it being, that was like very much foremost in my mind and everyone I knew. And um, I don't know, I, I, you know, that hasn't changed. That's, that's mm -hmm. maybe an incredible, painfully earned, you know, disastrously earned uh, clarity and focus have come. But that sense of emergency was there before and it remains. And I think the isolation, I, I don't, you know, coronavirus is a new thing, but they've had it. They've had similarly terrifying things elsewhere in the world. It's, you know, we, we've been lucky. But that sense of isolation, that sense of like, how do we have connection in an in ever more mediated kind of life, that was also there. So I think this is like, definitely we're in like, everything's, you know, everything's at a boil. But it was certainly more than simmering when I wrote the song two years ago. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it's, um, I think it's natural for any song to take on new meaning or for new meaning to be found or for a song, even if it's in its completion, for a song to evolve with what's happening. And you can't control it. And it's, it's almost like, it's a great uh, sort of lesson to learn over and over again about being an artist. Because you might even have some like intention about how everyone's gonna interpret what you do. And then you put it out there and everybody has some <laughs> surprising, uh, <laughs> on it that you never would have expected it it's like whoa okay i guess i'm not in charge of what you guys think about this <laughs> yeah if there's anything that i've learned over the years dan is when i ask somebody about a song like tell me about this song what was the inspiration uh there are some times where you know people will come up with a very straightforward answer and talk about how it's a personal song or it's based on this life event but then there are some who say it doesn't matter what i say it's it's really the interpretation is what is going to happen with that song. That's the meaning of it. Like when, when I wrote You're Not Alone, my main memory of writing the song was two things. One, I was like into kind of a Bob Dylan listening jag. And so I think that kind of very wordy rhythmic verses kind of, came from me going back to very old music that that still had a lot had a lot of like rhythm and a lot of kind of flew by quickly i guess you'd say and then this other memory i had have of writing the song is just when i wrote that line um when i wrote when i just said the word the water's warm it just felt so it was hilarious i just laughed i just thought okay I don't know if I've ever heard that in a song, but I really like it in a song. And it felt like it was about engaging with life and getting going and uh, trying to make a difference and, and make connection. And that sense, that, that thing about the water's warm is almost like um, 
reminds me of childhood, you know, that like it's such a simple concern. The first person jumps in and everyone says, how is it? You know? <laughs> it's just fine. Come on in. The water's <laughs> warm. <laughs> I'm talking with Dan Wilson, a new semi-sonic EP due out this September, in fact, September 18th. The new single, You're Not Alone, is uh, coming out on Friday, but we don't have to wait until Friday because uh, members of Semisonic and Dan have been kind enough to let us debut the song for you here on The Current. And um, Dan, I really appreciate you taking the time to check in with us. Total pleasure, Jill. Really, really happy always to connect with you guys and and um, um i'm proud that you're playing the song first oh it's going to be great so let's take a listen to it um you can find a uh, video from today's conversation it will be posted on social media the current social media channels and you can find it by way of the current.org and um, i want to point out the video because uh dan i don't think i've ever seen you with a beard and i'm telling you that you need to keep this look going i think it looks great <laughs> Like I said, it's the it's the talk of my house. It's it's the, this beard has taken my 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 family by storm. It's how we're all evolving. All of our looks are just evolving. All right, Dan, I appreciate you, and hope to see you in person. Will we all see each other in person down the line someday? Okay. I love that thought. Thank you, Joe. You are listening to the current.